So one of my rules is I don't do coffee or drink dates. Now, I understand that some women like this or prefer this because it's a quick turnaround, 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't like him, you can get out of there. It works for some people. If you like it, I love it. This video is not for you, keep scrolling. However, for me, as for me and my household, we're going to have higher standards. Welcome back or welcome to Uncle ABL. And in today's video, we're talking about coffee dates. Now, this is a very interesting topic. There's a lot of opinions about coffee dates. Some say it's broke boy activity and do better and you could put forth a better effort. Some say this is great. It's low investment. It's low pressure. We're just getting to know each other. There's no expectations. And some are kind of in between that. Now, I have my opinion about coffee dates. And as a matter of fact, I have an entire strategy behind coffee dates. But we get to that a little bit more a little bit later. What we're going to focus on in this video is three clips. The first I showed you a little bit of from the very beginning. And I saw this a while back, but it's kind of going viral again. We're going to address that. She obviously is not a big fan of coffee dates. Then we're going to see an older one from a guy by the name of Cheyenne Bostock talking about the buffer date. And then we're going to see a young lady who kind of is on the same page with those who like coffee dates. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And of course, I may have to uh, pause it at certain points to give my two cents. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. So one of my rules is I don't do coffee or drink dates. Now, I understand that some women like this or prefer this because it's a quick turnaround 30 to 45 minutes if you don't like him you can get out of there it works for some people if you like it i love it this video is not for you keep scrolling however for me as for me and my household we're going to have higher standards I'm talking to this guy and i'm going to read it to you because we've been talking for a couple days and he started talking about meeting up so he said we should get together over some pear and lychee cocktails soon and i said that's really sweet but I prefer dinner. I like to get dressed up. Now, I always try to say it nicely because I don't want to be like, I don't accept drug dates. Like, you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be. Let's pause. Okay, there's a lot going on here already. First of all, if a woman is doing all this, that's a red flag right away. Talking a whole lot on the internet, talking to a camera, in my opinion, for a woman is a red flag. And then uh, talking about a date that she is about to go on with a guy, also a red flag. Then, oh, Here's my strategy. I always do that. Always do this. How many of these first dates are you going on? Like, what's really happening? There's a lot of red flags here, but I digress. You can you can be nice about it, but I was just say I prefer dinner because I like to get dressed up. And he said, I see. What type of places do you have in mind? So I sent him a list of places that I've been like wanting to try all sorts of different budgets okay it ranges from like medium to a little bit higher all different locations around the city so he can choose like what works for him you know timing and budget wise something else i gotta address the guy because i don't want it to be like i'm just trying to attack her trying to dunk on her it's not even about that um the guy was wrong talking about okay where do you want to go see never do that you giving her the lead you're letting her control the whole situation you basically might as well ask her hey where are we going how much is it going to cost you're pretty much reversing the roles i would never do that if you suggest a place and then she says no really i will leave it right there because i'm not, I'm not going to suggest a bad place it's going to be a place i would go to on my own even if you weren't there so if you say no that's typically going to be a no for me as well. I'm going to go ahead and just ghost you at that moment. It is what it is. I don't got time for the BS, but let's continue. So I sent the list of places. He says, these places sound really nice. I think it'll be fun to get to know each other over some nicer dining options. Here it comes though. But I wanted to let you know up front that if we were to meet at one of those places, I'm comfortable splitting the check. That's a very good strategy. Shout out to my man pulling the Uno reverse card. It's like, all right, look, I got to put someone to go to. It's in my budget. It makes sense. It's cool for the first date. Cool, cool. Now, you want to go here. You want to go there. All right, let's put the check. Now, really, it's, it's a cool Uno reverse card. It's good for social media purposes to talk about that. But me, as I said, from the jump, if you say no, I'm not even really going to go further because now we're trying to negotiate and this ain't business. We're just trying to meet and get to know each other. It's not about trying to, you know, 
be purely transactional like that to the point where you got to negotiate. I usually will do drinks or something on the simpler end for the first meetup to see if there's a connection first. So my thing is, I don't like the coffee or drink day because they're trying to audition you to see if you are worth an actual dinner. This is the thing for me, like I know men, the number one thing men are judging you off of is your looks, right? When they, when they see you, they meet you, they're gonna be like, okay, how beautiful is she? Is she put together? Do I find her attractive, right? That's the number one thing. Your personality may come second, sure, but the first thing is how you look, right? So with that in mind, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer costs $32, okay? Why would I put on a full face of expensive makeup, do my hair, make sure my nails are done, make sure there's no hair on my body, and then come and spend two hours of my time talking to you for an $8 coffee or a $16 cocktail. Actually, I kind of agree with her. I kind of agree with her here. I, I really do. Um, that's a lot of effort for something that's kind of low effort. I do agree with that. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more a little bit later. You guys, it'll make perfect sense in a minute. So let's just keep on going here. Be oh so for real. Let's take it even deeper. When women go out with a man that they do not know, they take a huge risk. Okay, I'm gonna I'm stop it right here because this is like a six minute video and the rest of, well, for a while, she's talking about the safety issues, you meeting up with a guy, you don't know him, he might wanna delete you, all this, that, and the third, okay? But that's generally the gist of it. Now, we got some more we're gonna get to. This is an older video from Cheyenne Bostock, <laughs> The Buffer Date. Some of you guys may have seen this from about a year or two ago, but let's watch this. And then we're going to get to the finale of a young lady talking about she likes the coffee date. I remember one time I invited a young lady out for a buffer date. Now, I highly recommend a buffer date before investing more. A buffer date is 30 minutes during the daytime, $10 or less, low pressure to fill each other out. She accepted the coffee date and we got there. Now, as per usual, I normally eat before I come to the date to make sure that I'm satisfied and I'm not showing up with negative energy, hungry, hangry, or with an attitude. And also so that I'm not wasting time ordering food, waiting on the food, eating the food and spending more time than I actually want to with this individual that I don't know. So she said she was hungry. So we went to a place where there was food and she was upset that I didn't pay the bill. And I'm saying, honey, I invited you for coffee, not a meal. Now, if I would have do things differently before that buffer date, I would have had a phone conversation with her to see if we are even compatible and to see if she's interested in a buffer date. And that's something that I highly recommend to you ladies. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Okay, now, personally, if it's like right around dinner time and she's talking about she's hungry and we go to a place with food and I ask her to the place, I'm going to go ahead and pay and it's not going to be a thing. I'm not going to have this conflict over that because some things are said without directly saying it. If you're inviting her to a place at 7 p.m., she, she said she's hungry, they got food and she eats and you don't pay you're just asking for a conflict. I wouldn't do that. Now, this young lady is talking about coffee dates in a positive way. Check it out. My mutual here on TikTok hit me up a little earlier today to ask me for a little bit of advice about a coffee date that she's going on tomorrow. And I'm real excited for my good sis. And I wanted to give you some of the tips that, like I gave her. So thing number one about coffee dates, I really love a coffee date. I really love a non-committal sort of date. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who feel like coffee dates are low effort. But the thing is, it's also low effort for you. And that's beautiful because you can easily decide that you don't like this person, but coffee dates can easily translate into like more time spent together and you get to be in control of that as opposed to the commitment of spending so much time with someone um, and then feeling like your time is wasted or whatever. It's very rare that a coffee date moves to bed, mostly because of the timing. <laughs> like it's literally the sun's still out. Where are you trying to go? What are you? Very, very good point. She's, I mean, there's no lies being told so far. Trying to do, but anyway, so a um, couple of pieces of advice that I gave my good sis. Thing number one is I like to treat coffee dates whenever I'm doing them. I will post up at that coffee shop 
maybe like an hour or two earlier, get some work done, get myself into a good little vibe. I always like to sit in like a booth somewhere in like the back of the coffee shop and really just like sort of establish my space energetically. It'll help me loosen up. If I'm doing like other creative work, I'm not thinking too much. I don't have time to get nervous about the date. That's what's going on there. There's more to it, but you get the idea. She's like, look, it's not a real big deal. It's, you know, you're not committing too much of yourself it's low pressure. You're not going to have to do anything afterward. No, it's just, it's just cool. You just talking to the person and getting to know him. Now, um, I have my own opinions about coffee dates. Personally, I don't do coffee dates. I'm going to just say it. And, and my opinion is a waste of time. And let me explain. Let me just, you know, lay it out for you. You can't build romantic interest on a coffee date. Now, are there some exceptions? Of course, if there's very high interest from the young lady and from the guy, it doesn't really matter where they go. There's going to be sparks flying. But for the most part, you got to build the romantic interest. So you do romantic things. You go into a dinner. It's eight o'clock at night. There's dimly lit environments, candlelight, a glass of wine. It's romantic. So you're able to build that interest. And you're able to accomplish the goal of getting to the next step, sliding across home base if you catch my drift. I'm not saying that's the only purpose of dating, but that's part of it if we're being honest. We're fully grown adults here. We already know what time it is. A coffee date comes off more like a business meeting, a dinner date, or something like that that builds romantic interest. It denotes another kind of intent. You know what I do instead of a coffee date? When you first get to meet somebody, and let's be clear, the reason why coffee dates are happening is because we're meeting on these apps. We don't know each other at all. So we go to the coffee date to verify, okay, you are who you say you are. Am I going to like you at all? Is there any kind of chemistry? So that same goal can be accomplished by FaceTime. Get on FaceTime, talk to them 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I verify who you are. You verify who I am. We're talking a little bit. Are you a hood rat? Are you a pookie or Ray Ray? Are you a strag? Okay, no, we kind of on the same page. All right, cool. We've accomplished the goal of the coffee date with a 10 minute FaceTime call. No more than 10 minutes. I ain't trying to, you're not going to talk me to death. Five to 10 minutes on FaceTime is low effort. She could be in the house. She don't got to put on full makeup. Remember the girl from earlier? Oh, I got to put on makeup and shave. You don't got to do none of that. Get on the FaceTime. We talk for a little while. 10 to 5, five to 10 minutes. I ain't 10 to 15. 5 to 10 minutes. We verify. Are we on the same page? Okay, now let's set up the real date. And that's pretty much all I got. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share. And subscribe. Peace.